let's make another interview question which is going to be linked this you want to start defining a struct it's going to be node and yeah it's going to be struct we are going to have the value let's say data and it's going to be integer and next will be node itself and we're going to have linked list also going to be struct this is going to be hat and going to keep the node we are going to have one function it's going to be linked list and it's going to make the insert so we're going to give a value and it's going to insert in the list so it's going to work like one way direction so it's going to be three good it's going to be data and then it, it can be nil so then it's not continuous but if it continues it's going to get the address of the next node so let's say node 2 and it's going to be 4 and node 3 and it goes like this so let's let's define the list then and we're gonna add some numbers So you're gonna look if the head is nil, then let's create a new data here and it's gonna be node with the value in it and the next is gonna be nil and we're gonna assign new data to here. If it's not the beginning of the list, then we're gonna get the current one. And we are going to iterate through as long as next is not nil. We're going to change the current to do next. Let's go to second method, which is going to be also linked list and it's going to be displayed this time. And we're going to look at the head. If it's nil, then we're going to just say the list is empty. Otherwise, we're going to get the current one, which is going to be head. And we want to loop through current as long as next is not nil. And we change the current to do next, right? Actually, if the current is not nil, we're going to just let's do printf. And it's going to be current data i think we don't need this because even though it's the next is nil we need it so we can get out of from the loop we run it now we get the numbers in the correct order 